tropical rainforests and the effects of climate change on carbon sequestering. Rainforests cover a relatively small area of our planet. Only about 10% of the Earth's landmass is covered by tropical rainforests. However, they contain 50% of the species on our planet. Tropical rainforests are important for many reasons. One of the main reasons that these forests are so important for the health of the planet is that they act as sources of carbon sequestering or storage. Through the process of photosynthesis, the trees take in massive amounts of carbon that normally would have been released into the atmosphere. This process helps to moderate the temperature around the globe, allowing humans and animals and plant species to thrive. One of the biggest threats to our environment today is deforestation. As we lose the forests of our planet, we are losing the Earth's ability to store carbon. Soil is also an important source of carbon storage. Some studies show that as much as 40% of the carbon stored in tropical rainforests lie in the soils. Studies were performed in a rainforest in Africa which showed that the amount of carbon stored in the soil was equivalent to or in some cases greater than the amount of carbon stored in the trees. Disturbing these soils for agricultural use can release carbon that normally would have been stored for many years, disrupting the natural process. The earth is constantly undergoing a cycle of storing and releasing carbon dioxide. As we disrupt the soils of our earth for practices such as farming, we're releasing more and more carbon dioxide at faster and faster rates, beginning to increase the amount of greenhouse gases that are in our atmosphere and therefore increasing global temperatures. The Amazon rainforest in South America is the largest rainforest on earth. 20% of this rainforest has already been destroyed. Destruction of this habitat means destroying biodiversity. As discussed earlier, rainforests contain 50% of the Earth's species. When we burn the rainforest or cut trees down for logging, we're destroying the sources of food and shelter for all of the animals who live here. If we continue the deforestation of the Amazon rainforest at the rates that we are currently experiencing, we will soon lose one of the Earth's most important sources of carbon storage. If this does happen, this will have a dramatic effect on climate change. Climate models are used by scientists to attempt to predict the effects that global warming may have on our planet. Many climate models have predicted that due to a rise in global temperatures, the Amazon may begin to experience severe drought. If this does occur, many plant species are predicted to die or possibly become extinct, as they will not be able to adapt to these harsh conditions. Drought will also increase the chances of wildfires breaking out, destroying more plant life. Forest fires in the Amazon rainforest are mostly caused by anthropogenic sources. Science has shown that burning forest land in the Amazon happens so frequently that it is one of the largest contributors to the amount of greenhouse gases that are released in the atmosphere on an annual basis. Thinning of the rainforest caused by logging can allow more sunlight to penetrate into the canopy, which allows the leaf litter on the floor, forest floor to become dry and brittle, which then the forest leaf litter becomes fuel for forest fires which will spread even quicker with all of this fuel. So not only are we burning forests and allowing more greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, we're also losing essential plant life which normally would act as carbon storage for the planet. One of the main reasons for the burning of the rainforest is to convert the land for agricultural use. One of the largest uses is for cattle ranching, due to the world's demand for beef. Another large contributor to the deforestation of the Amazon rainforest is the conversion of land to be used for cacao production for chocolate companies around the world. 
Some other main sources are the creation of highways, coffee plantations, and logging. Much of the rainforest land that is burned and then converted for the agricultural production of plants like cacao is often only used for short periods of time. Due to the poor nutrient value of the soil in tropical rainforests and the high acidity, the land that is converted for cacao production is often only used for one to three years before farmers begin to see lower yields and an increase in diseases in their trees. This often leads farmers to begin supplementing the soil with high amounts of chemical fertilizers, which eventually will run off into the streams and rivers, harming all of the wildlife that live in these areas. Because of these issues, farmers will often abandon this land and leave these areas devastated. Farmers then begin the cycle again by clearing more land to plant new trees. More sustainable cacao farming techniques, techniques have proven to be successful, such as diversifying the types of trees that are grown on the cacao farms, which provide much needed shade for the fragile cacao plants, which are harmed by direct sunlight. All of the factors discussed in this presentation, such as possible drought, forest fires burned to clear land for agricultural use, and rising temperatures, may severely disrupt the natural carbon cycles of the tropical rainforests. From the Amazon to Africa and other places around the globe, all of these forests may experience this dramatic alteration. Climate scientists believe that if we do not reduce our production of greenhouse gases from burning fossil fuels and other sources, we will not be able to prevent the rise in global temperatures. Climate models show that with an annual increase of even two degrees, rainforests will lose their ability to store more carbon than they are releasing. This would cause tropical rainforests to be converted from one of our largest carbon storage locations, also known as carbon sinks, to one of the planet's largest contributors of carbon, also known as a carbon source. If this alteration to our global temperatures occurs, we will begin to see more extreme weather catastrophes, which can devastate communities around our world. This is something that we've already seen. Some scientists believe that this change in the carbon cycle will occur in less than 100 years if population growth trends continue to increase at the same rate and if our production of greenhouse gases is not reduced dramatically. This means that my children and grandchildren will be left to deal with the devastating consequences of the current actions of people today. If all people take small actions to reduce their dependency on fossil fuels, we can have a much larger impact than we often believe is possible. Simple choices such as buying a reusable water bottle, deciding to walk or ride your bike somewhere instead of driving, are all small changes we can make in our personal lives to help reduce the pollution being released into our environment every day. If we begin to shift our culture of consumption here in the U.S. to a culture that values sustainability, then we may be able to prevent some of the predicted outcomes of climate change, and we can save the rainforests for future generations to enjoy their beauty and maintain the important carbon sequestering abilities of these amazing places.